Hey, what's up? This is Chosen. Hope you're having a great day. And in this video, we are going to be taking a look at the results that I had in grinding the 3X Savage event for gear that was just live. And over on the bottom right, you will see the results from the last time that I did a bunch of grinding on the Fire Night. So we'll talk about uh, kind of cross-referencing some of these drop rates and, and just so you have a full picture of what to expect per energy spent in terms of acquiring good pieces for your account. And I'll walk you through the process of of me whittling these down and rolling them trying to figure out which ones I'm going to keep for my account and we will tab the results on how well we did in grinding in the savage event so let's get into it Alrighty, now the first thing that I want to make sure you understand, I've talked about this in videos before, but it is definitely relevant in the context of this video, is that in these drop fever events, it's very important to understand what the drop rates actually are. So uh, it says 2x or 3x and whatnot, but the way this works is that for the normal rates, there are nine sets that can drop. So your uh, odds of getting a specific set, in this case, the Savage set would be one over nine, giving you about an 11% chance. In a 2x, the way that they calculate it in game is it goes from from one over nine outcomes to two over 10, which is exactly 20%. Then for the three X, it adds one on each side and it goes to three over 11, which means that it is a 27% in relation to this video for a three X on the Savage. Ignore the, the speed icon right there. It was a speed event when I made this graphic. So I need to fix that. But anyway, during the three X Savage event, we are 27% to get Savage pieces. So if we do a hundred runs in the fire night, we should get about 25 to 30 drops of Savage Gear. And alrighty, so now if you look down on the bottom right, we're going to track the results and how it goes, and then we can cross-reference it to our previous grind. So in this one, I spent 2,700 energy, and I can tell right here in the middle, I counted these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I ended up keeping 9 pieces that may be worth rolling. Uh, so 9 out of 150 and 9 out of 2,700 energy. So now we try to figure out, was this worth it? Am I getting anything worth uh, you know, actually keeping on my account? So we've got a five star crit rate piece. That's HP. This is pretty bad. Uh, it would need to roll something crazy like quad accuracy for me to keep it or something. Uh, it did go double accuracy. You know, this, I mean, maybe like a secret room piece or something, but that is very borderline in, in terms of keeping. It would be the first to go uh, if I ever cut pieces. Now we've got uh, not a super meta set in Fury, but pretty good rolls. Uh, we've got HP, speed, crit damage, accuracy. I love it. It's worth rolling the 12. Again, um, it's a six-star helm. Now, helms are the... Helms are the ones you will have the least of on the top row artifacts because helms have more options for flat stats. Like weapons can't roll flat defense and shields can't roll flat attack. Helms can roll both. So it ends up being harder to acquire good helms. So uh, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go ahead and keep that for now. It's a decent like secret room filler piece. Uh, this has a flat stat, which is pretty unfortunate. And it did hit the flat stat and it doesn't have any speed. So that is going to be one that we absolutely get rid of right there. And then we've got the boot right here. Uh, it is a six-star speed boot, so that is always worth rolling, especially if it doesn't have six-star speed. It hits attack, defense. It's unfortunate that it's kind of a damage-dealing boot and it doesn't have crit rate or anything. Again, uh, you know, it's not a meta set, but it's a six-star speed boot, which is always handy to have in, in, in secret rooms and stuff. So for now, we'll keep it, but oof uh this one's rough, but it does have speed and accuracy. It could go like double speed accuracy and be a decent regen set. Um... Like the regen set is really good. I'm I'm not gonna keep a single roll uh, with a flat stat though. But for like a mid-game account, that would be a helm worth keeping for sure. Uh, and now this is the moment of truth. So we got two savage pieces that were worth keeping out of 2,700 energy. That's an ouch, that's a big rip. And this one is Garbo. Uh, on Savage, you want crit rate and stuff. It did at least hit double defense and speed. <sighs> This is really bad though. <laughs> I don't want, like like I don't envision a a place where I would keep this. If it got like crit rate at 16 or something, maybe for a defense damage dealer for like a secret room or something, but yeah, that's that, that's definitely unfortunate. We do have a 6 star legendary. This is what we need to redeem it. Ah, uh, oh my goodness. No speed or anything. So yeah, we're not going to get a single good savage piece. Yeah, and it rolled that's as bad as it can get. It's a defense chess piece 
without speed and it rolled flat attack. I mean, it, it, it just does not get much worse than that. Um, really the only opportunity that this, well, I mean, you know, you know, for like a fell hound uh, in a brutal campaign farming build, that would actually be pretty decent because we don't need any speed on our fell hound and fell hound does actually scale with defense and attack and it did hit crit rate and crit damage. So honestly, the, like the ideal situation does exist in a raid for this chess piece. So I, I don't think I need it because my fell hound has plenty of stats, but that is kind of funny. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll always keep it for now and we'll check if it's an upgrade for my fell hound. Uh, Man, this is this is brutal. Um, you like like uh, you know, gear is a grind and raid, but I didn't know it was this crazy of a grind. Six star, it's a six star defense uh, chest. Uh, you know, again, chest pieces end up being kind of like helms. They end up being really sought after. So your defense and HP and, and chests like that that have speed, substats, and stuff can be pretty good uh, for filler pieces of champions you're trying to build. And then we get curing boots that are attack. Oh my goodness. Double HP with speed defense. Oh my goodness. Um, I mean, <laughs> like I'm trying to think like a bomber or something, but there's really no accuracy or anything. But, you know, I don't know. Like, again, that'd be like another filler piece. So very, very, very unfortunate. I don't think we got a single awesome piece. Like the helm would be the closest thing, but the stats don't really synergize super well. So, yeah, I don't know that we got a single one, like a single piece that I would consider awesome in terms of like our charting down the bottom right, how last time I, I spent this many gems and got that many drops, it was like 500 drops to get five awesome pieces, which means that out of the 150 runs that I did here during the Savage event, you would have hoped I got one or two awesome pieces, ideally in the Savage set, and that did not happen. So I don't really have anything to add over on the bottom right in terms of something I would be proud to show off like these ones right here. Uh, I, like I got a triple speed immunity set with defense percent. Like I didn't get any pieces like that. Look at that regen sword. Uh, we got the HP, the, the speed, the accuracy, the resistance that like, like those two are definitely awesome. I didn't get anything like that here in the fire Knight. So we could fill in the results down there. We had nine that weren't trash. We rolled all nine of them, I believe. We, we kept eight of them. If I remember right, we sold one that was instantly garbage, but none of them were awesome pieces that I would be excited to really dive in and equip on a champion. The uh, the chest was kind of fun for a, for a campaign build, but I don't need it. Uh, you know, my, my, my fell hound is already built and ready to go. And this is the fell hound right here. You can see it's literally just like broken sets. It's like crit rate and crit damage. Wait, like, like it's plenty. You don't need any speed or anything. I can actually, uh, you know, attach a, an infographic down below that talks about the fell hound build, but uh, you don't really need to worry about min maxing the savage type stuff once you have good stats. So unfortunately it didn't really get anything uh, in the savage tournament. I hope it went a lot better for you. But hey, it is not all for naught, okay? I did get 50 plarian play points, okay? so. Totally worth it, and uh, everything is great. We're having a good day, even though we didn't get any drops. But anyway, yeah, unfortunately, uh, that is the result of my Fire Knight grinding for the Savage. It is a grind. It is hard to hit the RNG of the set that you want, and it is even harder to get it to roll well, uh, just given how the uh, the artifacts work in game. So uh, it is really a long-term thing. You can have good RNG where you get a few awesome pieces. You can have crappy RNG, and that is why we always try and double dip and play as efficiently as possible so that we're not wasting energy uh, and, we're, and we're taking opportunities to grind when we are in a situation like right now we are double dipping with CVC or fragments or fusions and stuff like that that is when we want to do all of our resource dumping and grinding within the game so yeah uh, remember to subscribe on your way out if you enjoy daily raid shadow legends content it means a lot to me here on the channel and helps me continue to work on providing data for you and let me know down below how the savage event went for you it's always fun to hear your experiences within the game as well so that'll do it for me on on this one as always thanks for watching have a good rest of your day peace